8 5 12 12 15 everyone this is your university like a pobi statistical channel where we discuss about various things related to mathematics wow what the hell is this i mean hello everyone let's continue me brahan and ashita are statisticians today is 22nd june which is the birth anniversary of the universal ramanujan who is a mathematician his birthday and sense of math magic is possible that he was able to create a magic So you are going to interview Nishantes who is a mathematician. So let's move on to Chennai. We are glad to interview a math magician. We welcome you to our special episode sir. So Nishant, you could have known about your teacher's magic square, right? So Can you throw some light on that too? The magic square has been for many centuries. The standard or usually magic square is denoted as an arrangement of the first n square integers into a square matrix so that the sum of the number in each column row and diagonal is the same magic number. The magic number is determined by n and is equal to n n square plus 1. So the number n, the number of cells on one of the side of a magic square is referred to as the order of the magic square. But this magic square could have had a fantastic history, right? Yes. Now, I will tell a story about magic square. Magic square can be traced in Chinese literature as far as back as 2018 BC. The legend of Lo Shou or the scroll of the river Lo tells the story of a colossal flood that destroyed crops and land. The people of Wu a sacrifice to the river god for all of the flooded rivers the low river to come is anger every time the river flooded there was a turtle that go around the sacrifice and the oldest magic square of order four was found in kajuraho india and it was also known as diabolic or pan magic square then let me talk about ramanujan's magic square ramanujan created a super magic square. The top row is his birthday, which is celebrated second, eighteen eighty-seven. This is a super magic square because not only do the rows, columns, and diagonals are the same number, but the four columns, the four middle squares, which are eight, seventeen, nine, twenty-four, and eighty-nine, and the last rows, two middle numbers, which are twelve, eighteen, eighty-six, and twenty-three, and the first and the last column, two middle numbers, which are eighty-eight, ten, twenty-five, and sixteen, all add up to the sum hundred and twenty-three. Now that we learned a lot about magic square, we should learn why should we learn magic square and its applications. We can see that magic square were an important part of the culture because they are found inscribed on ancient Chinese pottery. From that, most likely magic square journeyed to Arab countries. But what about the applications of magic square in sports? So for that, let's go to Punjab to interview a math magician. What is Math magician. Oops, sorry, I'm a math, math physical education magician. Now we are in playground of Patiala, and here is Neeman. Hello, I am very glad to be interviewed by this channel. Questions, please. It seems we are very forgetting our data already. Okay then, can you please say what are the various applications of magic square in sports? There is not much use of magic square in sports but still it takes a great deal of skill to be able to arrange numbers in a square to make all the rows columns and diagonals have the same sum the use of magic square dates back as far as the ancient chinese and they are still used as challenging math puzzles Then what's your opinion on that, Kahan? Yeah, according to statistics, also what he told us, right? For instance, you know magic squares in real life is that magic squares are in pursuit of practical uses. Coordinate rotation matrices in classical and relativistic mechanics combined with periodic boundary conditions for finite crystals soon led to link with magic squares. So in these cases, magic squares. Are also related with other topics as well. I have a doubt. I have a doubt. I think 
expecting that someone shouting from the back. Hi everyone, I'm Jerry. I have a doubt. Yeah, you can ask. Okay, can you please explain the distance between magic number and magic square? Yeah, with pleasure. Magic squares are square grids with a special arrangement of numbers in them. These numbers are special because every row, column and diagonal adds up to the same number. For example, if the number adds up to 15, then 15 is the magic number. Thanks a lot. Now we have a fine question given by Jessica, who is a Sudoku expert. Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the difference between magic square and Sudoku. Most of us got confused about the difference between magic square and Sudoku. Then two agree upon the wrong points, but let me clear it in a shot. A magic square is where the row, column and main diagonals are added up to the same number. In Sudoku only, the row and column adds up to the same amount. Is it simple? And now, we have to move to Mumbai to meet Nathikrinda Nishan. A mathematician. And now that we have reached, let us know the speciality about this special guy. He has made a bridge with between the board as a sequence and magic square. Sabiko Namaskar. I am very glad to have been interviewed by this prestigious channel. I will try my level best to explain. That's great. Then explain about your combination of Fibonacci series and magic square. Yes, for years people have been fascinated with magic square as well as Fibonacci sequence of numbers. Put the two together and you have an especially intriguing mathematical pastime. The Fibonacci sequence is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 and so on, where each term is the sum of the preceding two terms. Take any sequence of 9 Fibonacci series and pair them up with the magic square counting number 1 to 9. Then are the properties also the same? Not like that Harshita. A new magic square is formed but not with the usual properties. In a Fibonacci magic square, the sum of the product of each row is equal to the sum of the product of each column. Isn't it cool? Yes, it was. And now, let's have a quick use of magic square by young mathematician, Deepthi. Hello everyone, this is problem time. Water retention on mathematical surfaces refers to the water got in ponds on a surface of cells of various heights on a regular array, such as square lattice, where water is straying down on every cell in the system. The boundaries of the system are open and allow water to flow out. The problem is to find the amount of water trapped or retained for a given surface. This has been studied extensively for two mathematical surfaces, magic square and random surfaces. Hello everyone, now we are going to get handy with a 4x4 magic square. In this case, I have taken my own date of birth which is 9 to 2008. So, now we have the formula in the first row we have A, B, C and D. In this case, it would be 9 which is the date, 2 which is the month, 20 which is the first two digits of the year and 8 which is the last two digits of the year. And in the second row we get D plus 1, C minus 1, B minus 3 and A plus 3 which are 9, 19, minus 1, and 12. Then talking about the third row, B minus 2, A plus 2, D plus 2, and C minus 2, which are 0, 11, 10, and 18. And the last row we have C plus 1, D minus 1, A plus 1, and B minus 1, which are 21, 7, 10, and 1. So, talking about the rules, I've been explaining with the example. In this case, it's my own birthday. So, the first rule is that, the sum of the rows should be equal. So the first row we have 9 plus 12 plus 20 plus 8 which is equal to 39. In the second row we have 9 plus 19 minus 1 plus 12 which is equal to 39 again and if you just do that for the rest of the rows too we the same answer with the 39. Then talk about the second row which is the sum of the columns should also be equal to the same number. In this case it's 39. So, for the first column, 9 plus 9 which is 18, 18 plus 0 which is again 18, 
and at 18 plus 20 1 is equal to 39. The second row, I mean the second column, we have 2 plus 19 is equal to 21. 21 plus 11 is equal to 32. 32 plus 7 is equal to 39. So this is the rest of the column to the same answer. In this case it's 39. Now you have the third rule, the sum of the diagonals will also be equal. So now you have the first diagonal, 8 minus 1 plus 11 plus 21, which is equal to 39. And in the second diagonal you have 9 plus 19 plus 10 plus 1, which is again equal to 39. Now you have the first fourth rule. In this case, it's B plus C plus A plus 1 plus B minus 1 should be equal to 39. Let's do that. 2 plus 20 is 22. 22 plus 10 this is equal to 32, 32 plus 7 which is equal to 39. And in the fifth rule, we have D plus 1 plus A plus 3 plus C minus 2 plus B minus 2 equal to 39 in this case. So, 9 plus 12 is equal to 21. 21 plus 0 which is equal to 21. And then 21 plus 18 which is equal to 39. Then, for the Sixth rule, the corner should be equal to the same number. In this case, it's 39. So 9 plus 8 plus 17, 17 plus 1 is 18, and 18 plus 21 is equal to 39. And for the last rule, the 2 by 2 square over here, I mean a plus b plus c minus 1 plus d plus 1 should also be equal to the same number. In this case, it's 39. So 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 9 is 20, 20 plus 19 is equal to 39. You can just do that for the rest of the squares to move the same answer. That was even more innovative. Now it's time to move to Chennai where we have to meet Jai Jini and Roshni for the two budding math magicians. And now, we have to interview both of these people. Yes! We are extremely curious to get questions. Fine, so can you please tell about your research on magic squares? Yeah, sure. In our research, we found that the mass center of all general magic squares of an arbitrary order is the geometrical center. It means that the center of general magic square is the point where all the magic, all the mass of the given magic square is concentrated. Thus, when a magic square is supported at its geometrical center with no tail tracking on it, it will remain in static equilibrium. And of course, someone create many normal squares that are not magic, but are also balanced. I think today we have learned a lot about magic square and take a glance at a magic squares as well. So, we will meet you all in the next episode of HBOB channel. See you all soon.